Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the cabin. Didn't get to post a video last week. I was really busy with some errands and a few appointments and I was trying to finalize my taxes. That's always a daunting task, you know, going through all those receipts of the year. And uh, well, it's worth it though. Got it all done, got everything off to the IRS. We're good for another year. And uh, things are looking up. Everything's looking good. Everything's moving forward. And I'm moving forward with all of the plans that we had. In fact, you've heard me talk about putting a garage up. We were hoping to have one up last year. Didn't happen. But we've been over there cutting trees, clearing out, burning brush, doing that while there's still a lot of snow in the ground. And uh, I want to have all the trees down and the brush burnt up and the area ready by the time the snow goes away. Then I'm just going to let the ground dry out and I'm going to rent an excavator for a week or two and get all the stumps pulled, get the area prepped, have a garage put up. So that's going to happen. Yeah. So things are moving forward. So what I'm going to do with this video, it's just going to be like a mishmash of things. I'm going to answer some questions and talk about a few things. I was going to film outside, but it's snowing like crazy. Wind's blowing out there, make horrible footage. I'm supposed to get another five inches of snow tonight. Ah! Oh well. It'll give me more time to burn brush. Before I answer a few questions, I want to show you something. You see, these three axe handles here, you can tell I've had them for a long time. They're pretty dirty, pretty stained. Every now and then I come across these things, these things when I'm looking for something. And whenever I find them, they make me smile. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I like things that make me smile. I like to be happy. So, these axe handles here bring back a lot of fond memories, and I'll tell you why. When I was probably between 11 and 13 years old, somewhere in that bracket, there was a store going out of business, and I, I was a little entrepreneur when I was a kid. I was always working, making money, doing this, that, and the other thing. So I went down to the store, and I would buy like a card like this of daredevils, fishing lures, some spinners, a card of daredevils, maybe some other fishing spoons, things like that. They were going out of business, clear and sale, and I'd go in and I'd buy some stuff, and then... I'd earn some more money, and I'd come back, and I'd buy some more stuff. And the guy there kind of took a shine to me because he goes, boy, you must go fishing a lot or whatever because I'd come in and buy a case of salmon eggs and stuff like that. Well, I was going, bringing them to school and selling them and also selling them at a flea market, making a few bucks. Well, as you know, if you've been following me for a while, you know that my dream when I was a kid, I was going to live in a cabin in the woods when I grew up. That's my heart was set on it. That's all the stuff I read. Hunting magazines, outdoor life, field and stream, uh, sports of field, fur fishing game. That, that's where my heart was. I was going to grow up and go live in a cabin in the woods. So there was this wooden barrel full of axe handles. I don't remember how many were in there, but there was quite a few. And I was looking at those, and I wanted to buy the whole barrel and I wanted the wooden barrel too because I wanted to put that in my cabin someday but I was pretty young and and the, the guy like I said he took a shine to me and he put the barrel of axe handles aside and because I, I made an agreement with him that I, I wanted to buy the whole barrel and because <laughs> I knew someday these would come in handy I was going to go live in cabin woods so, I bought the whole barrel, and now here it is, what, 40-something years later, and I have three of these axe handles left. <laughs> and when I lived in my very first cabin, I used to keep my dog's dog food, his food, in the wooden barrel. When I look at these axe handles, it brings back such fond memories because of the foresight that I had when I was a kid. Yeah. I just wanted to share that with you all. But speaking of axes, 
I just found a question. I, a lot of questions. I just like, a, a, I don't know, 190 questions in my spam folder. I never look in there. But I found a question in there today saying that I'm always talking about, you know, the gear that I use, but I don't ever talk about pocket knives. So I, I want to just touch base on that. And that quite often I get asked, if, what are my favorite axes? All right, so I want to touch base on those two things. Well, I'm not really a big pocket knife guy, and the main reason is I don't like having stuff in my pockets. You know, I put these little cameras in my pocket, and that's about it. I don't like carrying stuff in my pocket. But you see in this little jackknife, this little Victoria Knox jackknife, and I have a few of these, and these are my favorites. They're small, and they got what I need. A knife, that'll, a blade that'll take an edge and hold an edge. Wonderful knife. It's got a can opener. It's got a bottle opener, a screwdriver, and another small blade right there. Oh, can't forget the one of the most important things I hear, the corkscrew, a wide screw. <laughs> yeah, these are great knives for the money. I got this one out of yard sale for a couple of dollars or something. That was a good deal. These are wonderful knives that last you a lifetime to take care of it. I'll put a link down below to this here. Okay, axes. Do I have a favorite axe? Not really, and this is my favorite axe. This Collins axe that you've seen in some of my videos. Why is it my favorite axe? No particular reason. I saw it at a junk shop, it was a steel, I bought it. I use it from time to time, but to be honest with you, I'm not a big axe man. I use my chainsaw, okay? I use my chainsaw and I use my loppers all the time. Um, I do use the axe. You've seen it in one of my videos this past year. Um, I've taken some spruce that I was going to use for uh, ceiling joist in the screen porch. And I use my axe for a limbing like that. But I do it just because I enjoy it. But as far as, like, can I recommend a really good axe? I'm not the one to ask for that. But on the subject of axes, okay, do I have a favorite one? Well, <laughs> maybe I do. I received this hatchet in the mail just recently by my friend Bill. Okay? Now, it's very, very ornate. Okay? Got some bear, bear prints there engraved carved in it, bare head. There's engravings right in the steel. Okay, there we go. There's some engravings in the steel there. All right, see that? Even the sheath, very decorative. When I first took this out of the box, my first impression was that it was mass produced because it is so ornate but then I got the information on it and all of this stuff including the including the engravings is done by hand okay this is all done by hand very impressed what a piece of work I, I can't thank you enough for sending this bill. This is just fantastic. I mean, I want to use it, but I feel like I shouldn't. I should hang it up. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet. I mentioned before that when we buy a whole chicken, we bake the whole chicken, we usually gobble up the leg quarters and the wings the first night because that's our favorite part. And then with the breast meat, we make a number of things okay and one thing that i really like to do it's very simple very very simple to make i take a soft tortilla i just put in a bunch of cheddar cheese and then i tear up some of that white meat chicken breast there and i put that in there and some sometimes i use just cooked broccoli sometimes it's broccoli and spinach got to make sure it's already cooked i put that in there and what i really like is a, an Alfredo sauce. Classical makes a good garlic Alfredo. And I pour in a little bit of that on there, and then I wrap it up. Okay, I wrap it up like a burrito, like I showed you before. And I put it in a hot cast iron pan with a little bit of 
really hot oil and I just brown it up till it, I roll it around till it's brown on all four sides and it's a nice crispy chicken broccoli alfredo burrito and they're fantastic and they're so easy to make yeah so there's a little cooking video for you right there <laughs> right from my kitchen table well I've received quite a few cool things in the mail recently that I'll share with you in another video. But you know how I like my smoked Vienna sausages. It's kind of comfort food for me. When I go ice fishing or out in the woods hunting or whatever, snowshoeing, I like to bring my Vienna sausages with me. So a friend of mine <laughs> sent me these the other day. Okay. <laughs> Check these out. Prairie Belt smoked sausages. Huh? And I thought, wow, look at those things. Read the ingredients. You get old, you got to have a lot of light on the subject. Mechanically separated chicken. <laughs> I'm no stranger to that. Water. Chicken skin. You always got to fight for the crispy chicken skin in this place. Pork skin. Corn syrup. We're going downhill. Pork spleens. <laughs> We're going downhill fast, folks. <laughs> Salt. Contains 2% or less of mustard, spices, paprika, natural flavorings. Pork stomachs. Yeah, then sodium tripolyphosphate extractors of paprika, sodium nitrate, smoke flavoring, and chicken stock. Okay, well, I don't think I will be eating the Prairie Belt smoked sausages, but what I will do, folks, I'll pop them open and I'll put the trail cam on them and we'll see if Mr. Grunt D. <laughs> Mr. Grundy will fancy them. <laughs> so we have another trail cam video coming up. And I do have quite a bit of footage. Like I said, I'm going to share with you from the Grundy hut. I've just been really busy. It's been a busy couple of weeks. So I guess I'm going to wrap it up for now. I just wanted to give you guys something this week, share a few things with you all. But that's pretty cool about the axe handles, huh? This one here was a straight one. And we got a short axe and a real long one. Huh? Pretty cool, huh? I bought those 40-something years ago. Amazing. All right, folks. You have a wonderful day. All the best to you. And God bless. Frank and the boss out of walking in the woods. Living life happy and free. Tracks in the snow everywhere they go There's a pokey way up in that tree A beaver built a pond where they have some fun Taking life a day at a time Best friends until the end Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss